morning. Wet morning, very wet morning, slipper weather, makeup, doing makeup in the dark, not proud of this at all. Good morning everybody, can you see me? Oh, I've just actually put my pyjama top back on to talk to you because I've just got out of the shower doing my makeup in the semi-dark because busy, busy, busy day today. Um, I am off to Sheer Lux because we are recording a gold show which we haven't done for ages on Sheer Lux. We missed most of the summer actually because so many people were away. I was off, uh, producers were off, holidays, all the rest of it. Now we're back. Our first gold show is so excited because Nadine Baggett's going to be on it with me and Gabby Roslin and a fantastic uh, fashion editor called Jordan. So I am really looking forward to today's show. I'm going over to the Sheer Lux studios to film that. Then scurrying back, Nadine and I are going to have lunch together. Um, and then I'm coming back because I've got my second styling stint in Covent Garden in uh, the Hobbs shop. I'm not going to film that because I filmed the first one, but um, hopefully I'm going to see many of you there. So a very long day. Myrtle's here. I took her out very quickly for a walk, but it was pouring with rain. We literally... Hello. Hello. You coming to say hello? We went out very quickly. You don't like the rain, do you? No. Um, so Susie, Flora's, cousin Flora's owner is coming over to take you girls out for their walk so they're going to go out I've got a lot of makeup on this is what happens when you put makeup on in the dark um yeah so that's my day going on the tube <laughs> um and it's going to be quite a long one Sheerlux is my happy place, but Nadine is my happiest person. She is like, she makes me feel so good, but also... I'm not good in the mornings. Can oh, I you are now. No, 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 I'm not good in the mornings. She's There's never... No good she, I will she's, do it, you know. I can't believe she's done this for me. <laughs> oh, do you know Charlotte? No. Oh, my God. So this is... <laughs> Yes. Oh, wonderful. Charlotte. You look amazing. Oh, so this is Charlotte Editor, Nadine. Hi, Nadine Bagger. actually at your service Parker. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So I really did it. She was what? very jealous. Like you were, oh my God, I was, I'm turning this off. She did Sarah Jessica Parker. Just tell me, is she my size or taller? She's exactly your She's height and exactly your size. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, that makes me feel less like a runt. Because I always <laughs> feel like a runt. More like a fashion icon. And how did you get that interview? Shall I turn this off and you'll turn yes. this off? How did you um, get it? The, they basically invited me to the breakfast and I said, I'll only go to the breakfast if I can film with her. And they said, why don't you host it? And I said, yes. Oh my God, genius. It's not a genius. I'm now going to take this off because we're going to, we're going to gossip. Yeah. Look who's just arrived. It's Gabby Ross. Hello, hello. So you should be only meeting the BBC and here she is. Hold the book up, Gab. Oh, so, spread the joy, and can I just say, this is her, this is, the times I turn up going, oh Gabby, life is awful, and you always say, come on, jump. pick yourself, jump, <laughs> truly, she is, on, the, is uh, she's, sorry, <laughs> yeah. she is the epitome of this, so yes, we're going to be talking about this on the gold show, so I'll leave no, the links no, below, no, and she's always, she's she's always, always, she's I can hardly, but person. because they're of really good height, I'm having to wear these shoes, look at the shoes, they're so she doesn't show in a wardrobe. She's These girls. These girls. Skirt envy. Are we all? That skirt. That skirt is fabulous. Yes, that is so beautiful. Nice to meet you. I know your skirt. I know your skirt. Stunning. I'm Jo. So pleased to meet you. Beautiful. I love your video on Bowden as well, by Where is your skirt from? Uh, it's a vintage piece. That's I'm a bit of a vintage, vintage fan. I think Perfect. it's originally um, Coast, Just but it's a, a, an old piece I picked up. Really stunning. Stunning. I love this colour. Oh my, oh my. Um, so this is, we've just finished, and um, wonderful Nadine, we're now going to do Nadine's Beauty Insert. So all of you who follow her, obviously. Celebrity Crouch. <laughs> this is her Celebrity Crouch. Um, but this is the setup. So there are, I love this studio because we've got all these cameras. So nothing is lost. This is what we need in our home. We do. We need this in our own home. Thank you, Ellie. And now 
oh, look at me. I've got my sweatshirt on inside out, but it's sunny. I got home, I immediately put my cosies on. Are you going to come and say hello? Come on then. You're going to come and say hello. Myrtle's here. She always likes to sit. She went out with Susie. There. Do you like the sunshine? Not it? Not it. Yes. Oh, so I've got um, half an hour and then I'm running through Covent Garden to go to the second Hobbs event to see a lot of you. And um, I think there should be more Hobbs events. I think you should start a petition saying, can Hobbs get Joe to do styling events all over the country? I would love that. And I could possibly take Myrtle. Uh, Hobbs used to do the fantastic dog coats to match their dresses. In fact, if I can find a picture, I will put it here. They need to bring those back. Right, I'm going to have a cup of tea, then I'm going to change and go off to the garden. up there absolutely beautiful isn't the weather weird at the moment it can be like gray and rainy and then beautiful summer weather I mean not summer but I'm wearing a light blazer I'm going in to uh, meet Nigel my agent at the Ivy and um, I'm just gonna walk in I've been not swimming this week because I've been walking everywhere um, and I haven't had time to swim but walking I think is probably the best exercise and it it's like a meditation I love it I love walking through London anyway Hobbs last night oh I just it was do you know there was a couple Janice if you're listening they'd come all the way over from New York not to see me but to visit Marylebone because of me and then they heard I was doing the Hobbs event and they turned up and they're like this young really young groovy New York couple and they've been to see all the shops that I talk about and they were staying in Bloomsbury and listen, William, Janice, if you're watching this, they said they were gonna film themselves in Carnaby Street doing The Walking Lady. So if they get it to me on time, it'll be at the end of this vlog. But yeah, I'm about to set off, but this arrived. This is not, I'm not sitting down selling you anything. This is not collaborated, but it is connected to a brand that I've worked with because next, I've worked with since I started YouTube I've worked with next and they sent me this advent calendar I have never got the advent calendar thing I've never I've just thought oh my gosh what is the point of these advent calendars that all these companies are giving out I then started to look at this and I googled it this if you're thinking of giving a gift to somebody that means a lot to you and you're, you don't know what to get them, you know, but you know they love a particular brand. Advent calendars are basically gifts from the brand to their customers because this is, I think it's 95 quid, it's beautiful, and it's worth 355 quid, quid, sorry, pounds. So they are a gift, that's why they sell out so quickly. And I never got it. I just thought, oh my God, what are you gonna do with these things? Well, the thing is, it's full of bargains and you're getting products at, in this case, a third of the price. That's extraordinary. I'm, oh, I'm not gonna show you all of this, I haven't opened it. I've taken it out of its box. It's beautiful. Next beauty, um, 20 days of beauty. You can only get these, obviously, online. Um, oh my gosh, oh, how pretty that is. Actually, that in display in your living room, um, Gosh, so all the products are in here, which I'll, I'll look at. Because I, I don't want to be unlucky, I don't want to open the last days of Christmas. I'll just open a couple, because I don't want to be unlucky by looking before such a child. But let's go to the 17th. And the 17th has in it, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so these are really good brands. This is the um, CBD body cocoon from This Works. 
So as you know, Next Beauty is a one-stop shop for all the very famous brands. So I guess all of these brands are represented in this advent calendar. I'm gonna open two more. Um, should we go third? The third, this is actually very exciting. Oh my gosh, Living Proof. So Living Proof is one of the best ever uh, brands for hair. And this is shampoo. So obviously Living Proof, very um, high-end, beautiful hair products. So I love it. So, and also these are in miniatures, most of them, which is what I like because I don't know about you, I like to swap and change everything. So I like, let's do the 13th and break the unlucky code. The 13th is uh, Murad. Oh my gosh, so this is Dr. Murad again. Retinol Renewal Eye Mask. So you could never buy these individually. Oh, sorry, I have to just keep going, I'm such a child. Uh, should we go to the 18th? The 18th? This is the last one, I promise you. Elemis, Elemis, high-end brands. Um, and this is the Elemis, I should have worn my glasses before I did this, is night cream. The Elemis Essential Night Cream. This is amazing. So if you've got somebody who's really important to you, this will blow them away. 355 pounds worth for 95 pounds. But even now, I don't even know if they've got any left because I know the companies, they have a limited amount and it is like, a, I think, a gift. So they said, this is a gift for me. Next, send this to me. And they probably send them to all of the people that work with them. Um, and I am really chuffed because I will put this up as part of my Christmas decorations. I mean, that will look lovely. So anyway, go online if you want to have a look for yourself. But thank you, Next, for that. Myrtle, you gonna be okay? I took her out very, very early this morning. And can you come up here and just say goodbye to everyone? Because I'm walking into Covent Garden. Come up here and say goodbye. Or should we just sit down? Sit down. Should we have a look at the next catalogue together? Hmm. You love a bit of Elemis. Oh, yes. Everybody, seriously, I'm not making people say things. She said it first of all. Back me up. She really, yeah, she's true. I, I absolutely said this of my own free will. I'm now really embarrassing my teenage daughter. But Joe Good, I love you and I'm so pleased. I've been waiting to bump into you for so long. I'm just on my way to the Ivy. Oh, of course you, you are. Of course, of course I am. Oh, it's me too, obviously. <laughs> See you in there. Hey, listen, good luck. Yeah, my first trip. Good luck. Oh, I've just finished. We're just about to park up. I survived. Did you I'm enjoy it? Shaking. Amazing. Well done. I Absolutely mean to do amazing. it, but I'm, I'm so scared of cycling around London. It is a bit freaky the first time you do it because you do just sort of whiz. That's, but, um, that's the thing. But, and also, because I'm a driver, I yes. know what it's like in London with cyclists, and I just feel for you because <laughs> I just think people like me are really dangerous. Is your daughter really embarrassed? Yeah, of course she is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello. 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 Oh, has she ever watched my vlog? No. <laughs> no, but I'll you make her. You need to, please. You make it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it's Thank so you. lovely to meet you. Oh. oh my gosh, I have been in the Ivy Club all afternoon. Um, with my agent Nigel, just it's just talking stuff, talking business, talking gossip, and the whole afternoon is just gone. So um, I'm going back down Old Compton Street, which is one of my favourite parts of Soho. The sun is out. It's a lovely evening, and I wanted to take you to a very interesting coffee shop, if it's still here. One of my favorite places to buy coffee. 
um, and it's just down here. I'm on Old Compton Street. Look at the sunshine. It's about five o'clock and it's like evening sun. And this is the Algerian coffee shop. It's really quite famous. You can have coffee in here, just takeaway coffees, but I'll show you. I don't think they'll mind me filming, but if you love coffee, you will love this place. So that is my gift to you. If you love coffee, the Algerian coffee shop on Old Compton Street is so famous. It's been there for years and it's the best coffee in town. As fresh as you will ever find it. Hello, it's Thursday morning. I am multitasking. So this mm, 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 is the lip balm that Nadine was talking about on the Sheer Lux channel. I urge you to go and have a look at it. The Sheer Lux Gold Show with Nadine Baggett and Gabby Rosalind is up uh, and I'll leave the link be below. Her beauty tips for older skin. She hates using the word mature. She said that sounds like cheese. So beautiful makeup tips. And she actually gave me this NARS. It's a lip balm. It's a balm with a tiny bit of color, which is really all I need. I am about to do a podcast with uh, Karina from um, Is This Too Young For Me? And I am rubbish at the technicals because I don't usually do all the technicals myself. Obviously at work, I have a team that do it for me. So I'm absolute rubbish. I'm trying to sort this out. Um, and I've done enough Zoom interviews with people on Zoom that they sound awful. I just don't want to sound awful. I'm doing this horrible thing of bob bobbing down because I've got you so low. But before I do that, I am running down to Rixo in Marylebone High Street. I am turning the lights on. Well, I'm, no, it's not me turning the lights on. I host the turning on of the Christmas lights in Marylebone High Street and it's on the 9th of November and Rixo always lend me a dress, a sparkly dress. So um, I'm going down now to collect that and I won't try it on in the store because I don't have enough time but I will let you see what they are lending me. So I'm going to do that before I do this um, podcast. I am everyone, I'm in Rixo. Um, when I turn the lights on uh, for the Marylebone Christmas lights, um, actually I don't turn them on, I host the whole event on the stage around the corner. I always, always wear Rixo. And um, they always lend me a dress and it's always sparkly and gorgeous. And they're just bringing the one up now that I am gonna be wearing on the 9th of November. So check it out and let's look at this. Ah. <gasps> 
What do we call this dress? Um, it is the Zuri dress. Zuri. Yeah. So I, because I love my shoulders. I'm, I, you know, I'm showing off. I love my shoulders. Gosh, I'm wondering if that actually is going to be too small for me. Because that is that a six? Yeah. That is a six. Do you mind if I try that on? Of course, yeah. I'm not going to reveal myself on camera, everybody, because I'm not, I need to fake tan, but I'm going to try it on in case. Do you have an eight? Should I need it? Yes, we do. You do, fantastic. So this is the Zuri dress, um, all sequined, all gorgeous. Um, I'm going to try it on in the privacy of the changing room. You will have to check it out yourself on the 9th of November. But it's on, online. You can have a look online at their beautiful sequin dresses. There we go, everyone. Yeah. My Rixo bag. So yeah, what a great, I mean, just having a quick look round. There's other beautiful, this is a with a kitten bow. And look at these velvet jackets. So well worth, just come down to Rixo. Have a look around because they've always got beautiful, beautiful clothes. There you are, your Rixo bag. Thank you. Oh, it's been raining. Raining, raining. End of the show, everybody. There's Amy going. Bye, Amy. That's Amy, my afternoon producer, who was producing tonight with Mel. There's Mel. Hello. Bye, you're, bye, you're Mel. Right Is here. this me? Yeah, right here. FPG. Make sure I'm in the right cab because Dave's not here. There's no Dave. Thank you. Hi, hi, hi. 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 Bye, Mel. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. So, um, do you know where you're going? Just the end of the day. Yeah, day. lovely. Thank you. Right. You don't mind me vlogging, do you? No, you're all right. Oh, fantastic. Um, so, can I just say um, that is the end of my week. What a busy week. A couple of things to tell you. Um, Please go and watch the Sheer Lux Gold Show with Nadine Baggett and Gabby Roslin and uh, beautiful Jade Trent. Um, I'm going to leave the link to it below, so please watch that. Um, don't forget that my Hobbs, if you want to see the Hobbs Autumn and Winter Collection, um, that's on YouTube. I will leave that because that's one of my proudest moments being an ambassador for Hobbs. Um, and can I just say that obviously Dave the cabbie uh, is still in LA but he sent a little video of himself in Beverly Hills and I'm going to put it here. Hi Joe. As you, as you can see I've actually done the unthinkable and left my apartment, turned my television off and I'm here in Beverly Hills. Uh, which is ironic because I'm no longer watching Real House, Real House of Beverly Hills. I'm now watching Real Housewives of New Jersey. So you know, make of that what you will. Anyway, hope everything's okay with you and uh, all the minxers. And see you when I'm back next week. Bye. So that's Dave the cabbie, obviously enjoying himself. Um, he's obviously come out of his uh, room and pulled the curtains and gone into daylight, which is great. I don't know whether Janice and William 
the two people that came over to the Hobbs event from New York managed to film themselves um, in Carnaby Street because I never know until I watch this vlog all the people who film themselves in Carnaby Street walking past the walking woman Philippe puts them on at the end of the vlog so I won't know till the end of this vlog whether William and Janice actually filmed themselves in Carnaby Street. Um, what else have I got to tell you? I think that's about it actually. Um, don't forget, please subscribe. It's taking me a long time to get any more subscribers. I'm sort of stuck on 60, I think it's 60,000. So if you've already subscribed, could you do me a favor and get someone else to subscribe in your family or a friend? That would be great. Leave a comment because I answer nearly every comment and I will see you next Sunday at 10. Have a great week. Bye. Bye. Bye.